Multiply integers, part two. Model six times negative three. That means six groups of negative three. Four groups, five groups, six groups. What do you have? Six groups of negative three is negative 18. Today we're going to work with number lines. 3 times 2 can be written as equivalent to 3 multiplication dot 2. It can be rewritten as 3 parentheses 2, which is and all, 3 groups 2. They all mean the exact same thing. Could we model it with our points? So 3 groups of positive 2. We get 6. But how do you show it on a number line? Again, you always start at 0. So it says three groups of two. Well, here's one group of two. Here's a second group of two. Here's a third group of two. If you want to, draw the little humps. That's how you model. So you skip counting by two. Two, four, six. Three times negative two can be rewritten as three multiplication dot negative two, three parentheses negative two, three groups of negative two. Let's model it. I have three groups of negative 2. The product is negative 6. How do you write it with the number line? Starting at 0, three groups of negative 2. Well, here's a negative 2. Here's a second group of negative 2. Here's a third group of negative 2. So it's negative 6. Now it's time for practice. So we have 2 times 5. I want you to practice with number line. So starting at 0. 2 times 5 is 2 groups of 5. Here's one group of 5. Here's a second group of 5. Or here's one group of 5. Here's a second group of 5. The answer is 10. 3 times negative 3 is 3 groups of negative 3. Here's one group of negative 3. Here's a second group of negative 3. Here's a third group of negative 3. It stops at negative 9. One group of negative 3. Bing, bing. Skip counting by 3s or the negative side. Negative 9. 5 times negative 2. That's 5 groups of negative 2. So we're going backward. So it's 1, one group, 2 group, 3 group, 4 group, 5 group, negative 10. So you're skip counting by 2 backward. 4 times negative 3. So that's 4 groups of negative 3. Here's the first negative 3. Skip count, that'll be negative 6. Skip count, that'll be negative 9. Uh-oh. Skip count, it'll be negative 12. 4, 8, 3, 6, 9, 12. Skip count by 4s. Skip count by 3, 4 groups of it. Now, let's make it hard. So, yesterday we talked about things called opposite of. Some of you are good at this, some of you are not. Negative 3 times 2. This is the opposite of 3 groups of 2. So, you have 6. Opposite of it is negative 6. Can negative... Yesterday we talked about commuted to property. Negative 3 times 2. Can that be rewritten as 2 times negative 3? Oh, let me change all those notes here. Negative 3 times 2 is equivalent to the opposite of 3 groups of 2. Yes, it can. Next one. So negative, let's get the heart of the one. Negative 3 times negative 2. That's saying, what is the opposite of 3 groups of negative 2? So, that's negative 6. Opposite is 6. Because you do the opposite of that picture. So let's practice some example. 5 times negative 8. 5 groups of negative 8, negative 8, negative 8, negative 8, negative 8, negative 8, negative 40. What's the negative, negative 3 times 7? What's the opposite of 3 times 7? That's 21. Opposite is negative 21. What's the negative 4 times negative 6? What's the opposite of 4 times negative 6? 4 groups of negative 6 is negative 24. Opposite of it is 24. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times negative 2. What's 12 groups of negative 2? Negative 24. That's a lot of negatives. What's the... No, this is where it gets harder. Let's focus on the first two numbers before you freak out by the third one. 
What is the opposite of 2 times negative 4? That's negative 8. Opposite is 8. And what is 8 groups of negative 5? That's negative 40. Next one. Before you freak out, let's do the, let's divide it. Let's, let's split it into two different problems. What's the opposite of 5 groups of negative 2? 5 groups of negative 2 is negative 10. Opposite is 10. Next one. What's the opposite of three groups of negative three? That's negative nine. Opposite is nine. Ten times nine is ninety. And that's about it. And it's just some word problems that go along with it. Ryan has savings account. Every Friday he withdraws, which means take out five dollars from the account and donates the money to the local food bank. Good for him. What is the change in Ryan's account after three Fridays? So he donates it on three Fridays. You could, instead of doing repeated addition, we're going to do multiplication. So he donates three groups of negative five every Friday. So he donates $15. Donate means give away, so it's negative integer. The temperature in Denver has been dropping four degrees per hour. That's written as a negative. How many degrees would the temperature have dropped after five hours? So the first hour dropped four, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour. We could do it this way. Or you could say, remember, multiplication is repeated addition. Or we could say it dropped five groups of negative four, which is negative 20 degrees drop. So this is multiply integers part two.